first question is just how do you feel about being back at Iceland for Worlds? I'm not gonna lie, I never thought I would come back to Iceland when uh, after MSI. <laughs> Uh, when we arrived in Iceland, we tried to adjust to jet lag. It was pretty bad in the first few days. Um, some short nights or sleeping at odd times of the day, but I'm like pretty adjusted now after a week. Iceland is a good place to have worlds given COVID and all, and it's better to have it here than not to have it. So I'm just grateful to be back at worlds, even if we're in play-ins and it's under COVID circumstances. We've been sightseeing more this time. We went to see some waterfalls, a glacier. We did some off-road ATV driving where cow people almost died, so that's nice. Oh no! Yeah, I mean, we just did some some tourist stuff for a couple of days, and we saw some things, tried some different stuff, and it was it was fun to do something else than just play 12 hours of. EU West mentally ill solo queue. The low the, the low master in EU West is like driving me crazy right now. I'm I'm kinda hard to like masters and it's I'm I'm one bad day away from a mental breakdown at this point. We are at the volcano Maddie. We are in Pachos. Max has a headgear on. Yeah. Looking good. We're trying to survive out here. This is gonna be a top three near death experience. Could be number one. We'll, we'll make a tier list of Could be number uh, three experiences. <laughs> nice, my manager is having a bit of a problem. Trying to get him on camera. What's up, Cloud Niners? Uh, wait, sorry, do that. What's up, Cloud Niners? So much me and my son ever again. You guys trying to fuck with us or what? When it was time to walk, it was pouring pretty bad, so we had to put on raincoats and everyone was pretty underdressed for the occasion because we're all from LA. I don't know where Rainover is this whole day. He's sick. He's sick? Okay. So we already lost Rainover. went down a lift, like a small lift that could fit no more than 10 people. We were like seven on it or something. So you start at the top and then it takes maybe three, I, I didn't count right, but it's around three minutes to get to the bottom. And then sometimes the operator would stop in the middle and then the thing would start shaking. And if you're at the edge of the lift, you can feel the shake a little bit more. So that was really fun. And there was also Max Waldo panicking uh, right next to us, which made it a lot more comfortable for everyone. If I scream, can someone hear me? I'll scream this. <laughs> like if someone's at the top and I'm at the bottom, if I scream, no. no. What's up, C9ers? Joe Biden flew us out into this volcano to have us check out this awesome landscape here. Here we have the uh, the first aid right. bag in case anybody breaks their skull. There was like this huge chamber um, and there's a path to walk around and we could kind of explore a bit. I like the cave. No, can you guys bring me food? Yeah, I need food. Can you guys bring down like an internet connection? <laughs> Couple of deaths. Can I take a, can I have a very long Ethernet cable? Well, we kind of saw it by like while we were going down, you could see the walls around us was like the rock was, I don't know how to explain it, but it was like different colors, different uh, textures since the lava, that's where like where the lava bursted out of the chamber. Top three near death experiences. Number three, the dune buggy flipping over. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought it was pretty fun. It was pretty unique. Obviously, I've never done anything like that before, so it was pretty cool. Experience. Just say, all right, we're done with the volcano. Just watch the video back. and like, subscribe, yeah. click the bell button, know the game, and uh, see you next time. Honestly, everything is pretty nice, and 
it's better than I expected it to be. And it's just like, I like the air. It's nice to go for a walk. We have good food, surprisingly very good food, like actually better than we did in LA. The hotel is the same as before, so it's nice. Like everything is just nice. I feel kind of comfortable already, so. And we are staying at a facility here, so that feels pretty good. The facility is actually pretty nice, so I'm happy we were able to get it. We're very lucky that they were able to set us up with this boot camp because I know other teams also that are going to Worlds wanted to also use this facility. Hey guys, this is Perks here, doing a Cloud9 bootcamp gaming house of this tour, you know, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Sorry for profanity. Beep this. So this is uh, our dusty office, uh, it's pretty nice. It's not actually that dusty, even though it might seem so from the name. This is the, the chill couch. You go here when you are very tilted and you want to take a rest. You know, you open the window, breathe some fresh air while you're taking a nap. It's pretty nice. Then, oh, this is Tran. He's a manager. Number one manager in the world. Love you, Tran. Love you. Okay, and this is the coach room. This is where the coaches watch us play and think, oh, we are so boosted. You know, they're like really like, looking down on us all the time. But they, in fact, they're not doing anything. They're just watching streams and watching YouTube videos and really chilling with their life. Besides Max Waldo, he's grinding hard and also. You got this, Max. We believe in you. Um, yeah, that's about it. They, they, they don't do that much. Um, then, this is our, the main, I like to call it the main, it's the main. Because it's the main, the main thing here. It has a very nice, Roof, top, I don't know what this is honestly, but it's pretty nice because when it rained, um, we could hear the rain sounds and I like to listen to rain sounds, so it was pretty chill. And now this is Blubberfish eating some chips. Move the chips from the camera! We only eat healthy food, we only eat healthy food. Only eat some healthy food. Phil is just loading up into a game. What is he playing, brown? Playing some brown, I'm not playing Italia anymore, unfortunately. Um, and then yeah, Vincent is actually not playing League of Legends and contrary to all people's beliefs, he's actually just here to play Final Fantasy every day. Um, but yeah, everybody needs like that one person, you know, who doesn't actually play League of Legends. So this is like our place. Oh, this is like my table. It's the cleanest of them all, as you can see. I'm doing with somebody here. I can't really say who it is because it's a person I'm, I'm poaching for future. Uh, it's like I, I still have a long time. He's on the contract right now. But sometime in the future, I'll, I'll play with him. Um, and this is like the fudge desk. Don't look at my teams. Don't look at my teams. Okay, and now what is here? Okay, so here, here we have kitchen. Kitchen is actually quite nice because we have the washing machine, microwave, and coffee machine. This is basically everything that a person needs. And then, what is this? Okay, so this is the content room. Um, this is actually. Yeah, this is actually, I don't spend any time here. And I think, honestly, like, we, okay, we've actually missed something. We just missed the toilet. The toilet is actually quite nice. I mean, honestly, it's pretty nice. I, I like this toilet, it's small, it's cozy. There is some candles. Uh, so besides that, I think that'll be all to our dusty house tour, office tour, actually. And it's pretty nice. Um, I couldn't be more happily surprised with the office here and yeah till next time uh, I think we got the worst so the best team we could have gotten for from the first pool but we got like the most um, like the better teams on pool two well we dodged Hamo life and uh, LNG the Korean and Chinese teams so that's pretty good that's pretty much all you can ask for. After that, it shouldn't matter who you have in your group. Uh, honestly, we shouldn't even be like thinking about how good are these teams. We should just be focusing on ourselves. And if that's not enough to beat, you know, these teams, then we don't deserve it. I mean, I've had this feeling for a while now that from watching League of Legends is split. I haven't been really impressed by anybody besides really like LPL, I guess. I think the LPL finalist teams have been pretty strong, like EDG and FPX. I think Damun is good, but definitely worse than last year. And even this year, they've like lost games. They almost lost to Matt. I mean, they lost MSI, obviously. 
they lost the game to us and the other games were very beat, like beatable for us as well. They're not the same as last year, so they're very beatable and, and they still like stomped LCK, so I think LCK is just very beatable. So far we've only been screaming against the European teams, Rogue, Fnatic mostly, um, be, and some of the teams like UL who's also in Europe because we can't scream uh, anyone from Asia because they're not here yet. Hopefully we'll be screaming some of those teams soon and we're also not in their group yet so they should be fine screaming us. A lot of the time you build scrims, then the groups are drawn and everyone has to cancel scrims because you have someone in your team, someone in your group, sorry, that you have both scrims with. So hopefully we can get some, some scrims against some good teams. It will be very nice. Um, but yeah, we only scrimmed EU so far. It's been going pretty well. Rogue and Fnatic mostly. They're very different than any teams in scrims and it's good practice for us so far. So I'm happy with how it's been going so far. We're pretty much 50-50 against both teams in scrims, so it's good. I mean, we've been playing for a while now, uh, trying to figure out the new patch. We, I mean, we were scrimming even before the patch came out, so we're just slowly figuring it out. And I mean, there's, it's gonna be, I usually have it is a world is like quite a marathon, and um, you, you also just figure out while you play on stage. So, um, yeah, just excited to to play now once the the meta starts like really shifting when all of the teams like stay together here at the at in Iceland and just basically, you know, experiment with each other's metas and, uh, you know, the level of gameplay scales up. So just excited for that right now and just getting ready to come in strong so that, you know, we can, we can compete against some of the best. Personally, I feel like I have the potential to play actually really well, um, even against like the top teams. And I think most of that confidence comes from when I played well during MSI. So I feel like I can do it again. Um, yeah, I kind of entered into like the mindset to basically give it my best in this next one month, maybe longer. Uh, I'm just uh, pretty happy with my like solo queue performance this so far. I think I, I've, I've got it. I've got it in me to to really smurf these roles. So I'll just uh, yeah, I'll keep practicing and some new champs and some strategies that I want to play, and then I'm ready. If you guys like this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more of it.